All right, fuck it, we're going live. We're live in the pod. We're live in the pod. Dugan's Car Show. Uh, May 27th, 2020. First, are you the first one here? Isn't that, isn't that usually like in, that's in, uh, I guess it works in live comments too, right? That cowbell, that cowbell, oh man, okay, so, uh, I haven't checked the P.O. box yet, I'm kind of scared, uh, I'd probably be check, uh, picking that up with a frag suit later on this week, and, uh, music's still going, Pecone videos are still going, I had one download, I guess, failed. So I only had like half of it, so I got to re-download one half of it. Uh, so I'll be working on that, and then uh, I will get a Pecone video out. I also found I found some other sequences that I forgot about that I'm like super excited about. So I'm working on those. I just want to key them up a little bit before I put them out. Uh, <clears throat> I want to make sure that they're like really sweet and really drive the home the point home. Uh, they're gonna be getting weird, <laughs> but awesome. Uh, what else? I'm sure that China's still cooking up, right? Like China's just, China's just on the like the fucking, the fucking rocket ship path to uh, coming into conflict. There's still like I said, some comments, like uh, QKVCS or whatever, whatever his name is, is uh, he's like a tough cookie, so he's not, he's not. He's not 100% bought into China being a conflict, but he, uh, you know, like he, he made a comment that was, uh, you know, he checked out, he did some research on gold movements, but his conclusion was because the United States had more uh, gold reserves in China, then that meant that everything is okay. But that's not what we're saying. So the, the situation with uh, gold, it's not a situation of, um, like it's not a situation of, you know, like a, uh, like a, uh, like you fight with gold necessarily. The situation is that China has been getting injections of gold from internet, like uh, non-Chinese central banks. They're moving around gold and putting it into China. So, so that's that's the position that is alerting to the future of conflict because that's pretty much the only thing that it can mean. Uh, I'll still do, I'll do the uh, consolidated Chinese video. Uh, I'm gonna do a, another sequence release that's similar, similar but more extreme, more hardcore than the uh, wake video. And then uh, continue, continue on live streams. Well, for gold transfer data, you, you know what's really good for it is actually YouTube. Like if you just look up bullion, international bullion videos, you can see a lot of stuff because They've been kind of alert to it for like, I don't know, seven years or so. They've been commenting about it. In the last two years, it's become like mainstream in, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, investors. Like it's, it's, it's a colloquial, you know, a colloquial terminology is like, you know, China stacking gold and China hoarding gold, you know. That's what, that's what most of the information is gonna be under. Um, but I'll reference when I do the consolidated Chinese video, then we'll do um, we'll put in some some we'll, like I'll just put in clips that get to the point and make sense, and uh, that will help. But here's the thing, right? About all this about all this like you know like gold downside to being uh, like cognizant and defensive about the situation with China, like in terms of like not buying into the MSN narrative and going into like a defensive posture uh, you know as an individual and nationally because that's just what we should be doing anyway because we're in, we're very vulnerable uh but there's no there's if you're alert to the situation and then just like you know you're just like drinking the msm like a fucking chocolate shake then you know that has a huge risk okay so like if we're comparing uh like like worst case best case and most likely scenario you basically have no risk to anything except for swallowing the msn pill and that's what came out at the beginning of the and that executive order 
uh, pulls out bulk power system components and replaces them with selected vendors from selected supply lines that are government government approved. Uh, it's pretty the the you have like the uh, direct the director of national intelligence office is involved in this executive order, and that should be concerning. And uh, whoa, that's a big turtle. Uh, that should be concerning, and it should, it, you know, it's it's so further. Um, I I need to find, I need to see if they have their uh, initial like white paper on on their suggestions, if they have anything that's floating out there, to see who the vendors are and what the particular products that they're changing out are. The danger would be that they they would put in, they would purposefully put in vulnerable systems into the national power grid. Which is, you know, like what, you know, that's that would be right in line with what's happening, and then it would create the ability to have remote attack, like a more, a more, uh, you know, plausibly deniable and direct uh, uh, remote attack on power stations. And there's been, there have been some some uh, articles and tweets in the MSM about uh, uh, like almost foreshadowing vulnerability of uh power systems in the united states i don't think that's a coincidence at all i think that they're just making the backstory to like you know throw into the back of your mind through your feed and your social media whenever you <clears throat> but your sub your subconscious brain reads it and so you like you already get planted the seed of like vulnerability of power systems and then they're replacing all that shit right now they're pulling out components and you know, you have to follow that and look at actual components that there are and try to get to get down to what their, uh, you know, their timeline of when they're going to actually start doing it. I mean, I think it's pretty immediate. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I will be putting out something. I'm going to, I should put out something later on tonight. Uh, it probably won't be a live stream, but I'll probably put out a pre-recorded video. Uh, that is, a, that is it. Thank you guys. Have a good day. I love you, bye.